<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Cricket Nerds. It is good to have you once again. Uh, we are today previewing Mumbai Indians and seeing how they are going to stack up and why they are going to win the IPL 2023. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Mumbai have come out and as per, they have got a very good team. Although we said this about them last year and they were rubbish. So, James, what are your gut first feelings about the Mumbai Indian squad? Um, they haven't changed a whole lot since the end of the auction. So our first thoughts on Mumbai was they've got a lot of very good players, but we're not sure how they're really going to balance the squad because almost all of their overseas are really high quality. And um, they've got a lot of players that so sort of do the same thing. Um, so it it'll just be... I think it'd be quite difficult for Mumbai to choose um, an 11 that they like the look of. Um, because, I mean, they're, they're, they're obviously going to open with Rohit Sharma and probably what, Ishan Kishan, do you think? Yeah, I'd expect so. Um, and then, because obviously they've played this much for Cameron Green, so they've got to play him. Um, but I feel like he usually plays in the top order. Or when when... The performances that Mumbai bought him for, he was playing in the top order because they bought him based off how he did against India uh, a few months ago. Mm. So, and he was batting at like three, I think. So, probably him at three. And then they've also got the likes of Tristan Stubbs and uh, who else? Tim David and Dewald Brevis. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then, you know, you're still talking about Surya Kumar Yadav and Tilak Varma. Now, in my mind, all of those five players go in the, like the top four, ideally, maybe five for like Tilak Varma, I guess. But yeah, it's... Uh, they've got some incredible... Oh, has my mic just gone weird? It has, yeah, but that's okay. We don't mind. They have got a really good team, haven't they? Like, I think with like having Tristan Stubbs in there, having Devolt Brevis, they both did phenomenally during the CSA. Um, as you say, they've paid a lot of money for um, Cameron Green, and I think they've sort of gone down the line of replacing Karen Pollard with someone like Tim David, who can come in in sort of that number six spot and just smash it around. Um, the one thing I'm disappointed about with 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 Mumbai this year is that we're going to have to wait another year for the bowling combination of Jasper Bummer and Joffre Archer because this year Bummer's injured not Archer yeah so Archer's going to be back in the side because I think that might be the one area that that they struggle with if they're um packing their you know overseas into their top order say they play um Cameron Green, one of Devolt Brevis and Tristan Stubbs, and then they play Tim David in the middle order. That only leaves the one overseas spot, which means that they've got Joffre Archer, I would assume would be that player. Yeah. They've got Jason Barrendorf, they've got Jai Richardson to be sort of the uh, Ooh, backup to that. With that, I think Jai Richardson is out with an injury. Ah, well, there you go. He might be out as well. But yeah. what we then see is they haven't got much extra in the way of bowling um as in much extra well-known bowling whereas in the past they had people like um they had not Chahal, they had Ra Rao Chahal. yeah they they used to have Rao they, Chahal. Had, they used to have Rao Chahal. um they've not really got any more big indian bowling names in that side at all like just looking through their squad i can't really see who their pace tat's going to be. I don't know enough about them. Um, and, and and I think that might be a potential issue for them. Um, if you have like Joffre Archer and Cameron Green opening the, the bowling, well, that's eight overs. You've still got to find, you know, an, another 12 overs. And um, there can be some spin there from Tilak Varma. There can be, um, I'd assume we'll see uh, Arshad Khan potentially coming in. But I think without having... Bumrah, 
it really leaves a hole in their bowling attack. So I think that might be the only place that that, that Mumbai struggle with this year. Yeah, I've found some uh, some completely unfounded news. Love it. Uh, some rumours on a terrible website that's probably destroyed my computer um, that say that Chris Jordan might replace Jai Richardson. It's not really like for like, in my opinion, but it potentially makes... Uh, Makes their bowling attack a bit more experienced, at least. But yeah, mm. I think just balancing that side is a little bit difficult. Um, I I do think they've got some incredible players. I think playing Dwan Janssen could shore up the bowling a bit, and he can bat. So that could be a, an avenue they go down. But I agree, they've just got um, they've got a bit of a bits and pieces team. Yeah, and I've got no doubt that they've got some absolute. Like quality there and some future superstars, um, particularly people like uh, Thrithik Shokin and uh, Ramadeep Singh, um, Shams Malani. Like th- these are players that kind of you've seen, we've seen a little bit of, especially in the side Mushtakali trophy, things like that. Yeah, Tilak Varma is obviously he, he seems like the real deal to me. Um, so yeah, plenty of. Plenty of players. Yeah, I think we stuff. might see. Um, I think we might see Arjun Tendulkar as well. I think yeah, he might be their their answer. He's got that left that left arm um, angle. He's a young guy, but he's he's played as you say in the side of Mustakali, and he's bowled all right. His best figures are four for ten in T yeah. twenty. So and there's legacy you know, there, isn't there? Exactly. He's he's no slouch. Um, and yes, it is the child of the famous Sachin Tendulkar. So I would love to see how he goes during his career. So um, let's just do a very quick um, 11 for Mumbai. I am opening myself with Rohit Sharma and Ishan Kishan. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that as well. I've got Cameron Green as my number three in my first overseas slot. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm then playing Surikuma Yadav at number four. Uh, we're coming with Devolt Brevis at five. I'm then putting um, Tilak Varma at number six to give me another bowling option as well. Tim David at number seven. And this is where it gets a little bit uh, into the realms of I'm not quite sure. Um, my eight and nine. Um, again, don't really know too much about the rest of these bowlers, but we can pick any two out of uh, probably P.S. Chowler, I would say, um, probably Arshad Khan or um, or Akash Madwell, potentially. Then number 10 is going to be my Joffre Archer, and then number 11 is going to be um, Arjun Tendulkar. But it's just going to be picking that bowling lineup is I think it's going to mm. be their hardest thing. Yeah, without a doubt, because <laughs> I was like, I was kind of following you for the for the top six or seven. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, we've run out of players a bit here. Yeah. Um, I think uh to to amend yours, maybe balance it a bit easier, um, I would I would have to drop DeWalt Brevis. So I okay. you know, I saw you didn't play Tristan Stubbs either. So I don't think either of them can play if they want a balanced side at this rate. Interesting. Um, because yeah, losing Losing Jasper Bummer is so huge. So I, I would then have Dwan Janssen in there, um, mm-hmm. who again isn't very experienced, but might might help a bit. And then like I think Shams Malani, I, I think he's going to be quite good. Um, but yeah, lots of questions. Not a whole lot of answers from Mumbai. So mm. we'll just throw out a final kind of prediction. And that is, where are they going to finish? the group stages of the IPL 2023, Benji? Um, oh, I always want to put Mumbai really low, but they always come back and surprise us. I'm going to say fifth, just outside the playoffs. Um, they struggled last year. They have, you know, made some changes to their coaching staff. Um, the organisation, Mumbai Indians, has, has, you know, been expanding all over the world with Mumbai Emirates and Mumbai Cape Town in there as well. So I think they've um, expanded more in sort of the back office of that organisation too. Um, but I just don't know how they're going to balance their bowlers. 
Mm. Um, especially with the lack of Jasper Bummer. I think that's that's the biggest thing for them. Um, I don't think they've got a powerful enough seam attack without Bummer. Um, and especially, you know, when you're playing at the Wankahidi, you want to have a seam attack. Yeah. And I think, I, I just don't think Cameron Green is a proven enough T20 bowler yet. So, uh, yeah. I just I, whacked I, my microphone. So apologies to headphone <laughs> users there. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for eighth. Um, I think I predicted CSK to be in seventh. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going for Mumbai Indians. Seventh. Eight. Yes, don't don't get all salty about it. So Ridiculous. yeah, I'm I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for eight. I think they're just slightly harder to balance. Um and I think Joffre Archer might win some games by himself. Mm. But you do need that short up bowling attack. And I'm just not sure they've got it. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow our social medias all in the link tree down below. You can also, if you have a look on that link tree, you can find uh, tons of good stuff, including our uh, audio stuff. That's what I was looking for, the word. Wow, uh, that was fun. Yeah, so yeah, you can listen to us. If you're out and about, if you can't quite watch the YouTube stuff, you can listen to it on uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.